Hello, Doc Sketchy here again with my fourth frequency shifter video. Brand new frequency shifter today. This one's the frequency shifter light, or as I'm calling it now, the freak shift. Um, I'll show you the panel. It's uh, very simple. It's got an input attenuator, auxiliary input attenuator, which is also feedback for phasing, some difference uh, scan, and wet dry. This one, um, so let me just show you the board real quick. This is, it's all on a single board. So this frequency shifter has a phase displacement network for the audio input and a phase displacement network for the modulation input. This phase displacement network goes down to a tenth of a hertz, 10 seconds per cycle um, for, for LFO duties. This one covers the audio range. And then the, the multipliers and output amps and everything which do the, which do the frequency shifting are in the, in the center. So there's no onboard VCO. Now you have your choice of source for the for the modulation. You can put you can plug a modulation source in here and select it with this switch to modulation, or you can put if you don't want to use the onboard um, dome filter for the modulation input, you can plug separate sine and cosine modulation inputs here and select them by putting the switch to the right. Now, um, and then, then I've got the output, which comes from the wet-dry control. And then down here are two unused outputs, the, sum, the, the straight sum and difference outputs, which I'm not using today. Now, um, okay, so what, the way I've got it set up right now, I've got my, my, doctor, my, my Doc Ock filter set up in LFO mode, in quadrature LFO mode. I'm taking the four-pole output with this purple cord and I've got that plugged into mod. And then I'm taking uh, the not, a couple, two other outputs at 90 degrees apart with these brown and yellow cords, and I'm, I'm, I'm feeding those to the sine and cosine inputs. So um, I'll show you how it sounds. Uh, I've got it set up in phaser mode right now. Obviously, it's, it's in LFO mode. OK, so here's what the guitar sounds like with the dry setting all the way on, with no frequency shifting or phasing or anything. Now I'm gonna, I've got it set up for phasing duties, and I'm gonna turn the wet dry up to wet. It'll give me some feedback. Turn the feedback all the way up, I get quite deep phasing. A little too deep for me. So I'm just I'm just done, I'm just backing off the uh, the auxiliary, let me get rid of this light, just backing off the auxiliary input just a hair to get to make the phasing a little less extreme. Now just like before, if I take this sum difference uh, to the other side, so this is now on the sum side. Turn the, turn the frequency down a hair. Yow, yow, yow. Then I'll go to the, I'll go to the, the different side. In the middle I get a kind of a tremolo. And then on the different side, uh, wah, wah, wah. That's taking the sine wave from the filter into the mod source of, of this device and putting it through the 18-stage phase displacement network that I specially designed for this unit to go down to LFO. Now, what if, I, what if instead I take the sine and cosine straight from the filter? It's exactly the same. So if I take a, if I take a perfect sine and cosine at 90 degrees out of the filter, I get the same effect. Thank you. 
Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go off. I'm going to I'm going to go off a of phaser mode and go into frequency shifter mode. And the way to do that is very simple. I just switch my filter from LFO mode to, v to VCF mode, and it starts oscillating in the audio range. Um, actually, I have to. Okay. Take it off of feedback, so I, the feedback is only good for phasing. Now that's taking the sine and cosine from the filter. If I do the mod, just to, and allow the onboard um, dome filter to process just one of those sine waves. I can't, I can't hear a difference. Again, this one has a wet dry control so I can blend in the actual guitar. I'll put it halfway. It's kind of freaky. Of course, if I put it all the way, that's just the guitar. And again, about halfway. Okay, now I've done something slightly different. I've set it, I put it back in phaser mode, so in other words, which it, I don't have to do anything on here, but on the filter, I put the filter back in LFO mode, so it's oscillating slowly, and it's just one sine wave coming into the mod source, and it, I get phasing. Um, but I've done something a little different. Now what I've done is for the sine and cosine inputs, I'm not taking them from a quadrature oscillator, like the filter, I'm taking them from two separate LFOs. These are triangle wave LFOs. Um, I'll try and show you. They're over here. Um, you can see them oscillating. So the, the, top, the top two, the bottom one is um, not, not so, I'm, so these are, these are uh, very shape LFO. So I've got one that's, they're slightly lopsided triangles and they're oscillating at two different frequencies. And so what, what happened, so this is a regular phasing. Um, and here's what happens if I switch it over to this other weird input. So I can get I can get all kinds of really weird phasey si semi phasey sounds, but they're not phasing. Semi phasey, semi tremoloy. Here's what happens if I make one fast and the other real slow. Almost like a really fast Leslie. Oh, I like that. Now again, here's what the standard phasing sounds like. Which is lovely. 
Oh yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. So I asked myself, why did I why did I wire this up so you could put other inputs other than the dome filter into the modulation? And the answer is because it's freaking cool. All right. Okay, now I'm going to do something slightly different. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be in uh, frequency shifter mode. But I'm, for the modulation, I'm taking it from a VCO. So I can change the uh, pitch. With my keyboard. Okay, so this is what it sounds like with one VCO controlling the frequency shifter. Now I'm going to I'm going to turn that down and I'm going to turn up a second VCO that's at a different frequency. Now the question is, what happens if I control the frequency shifter with both VCOs simultaneously at different frequencies? So I'm going to turn up the second VCO. And so now they're both, they're being mixed in my little mixer that I have in my filter. And now they're both coming in to the, to the frequency shifter. chaos. Now what happens if I, I'll turn one down and could just go back to a single oscillator. Now I'm going to modulate that oscillator. That's a good... linear FM. In fact, I can do, I can do through zero FM. That's a bit useless. Now let's uh, let's put the other one on, and let's modulate it. See what happens with a different LFO. Now let's put them both on, both being modulated with different LFOs at different frequencies. And what are you doing?
so that's kind of cool. Oh. Okay, and finally, once again, back by popular demand, Doc Sketchy. 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 Stop that. Stop that, Doc Sketchy. 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 Doc Sketchy. Doc Sketchy. Doc Sketchy. Doc Sketchy, you say that. Doc Sketchy. Hey, Doc Sketchy. Yes, Doc Sketchy, hey. What about me, Doc Sketchy? I love you too. 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 All right. Now, what's happening with this other one? Let's do something weird. Let's, 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 oh, 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 oh. That's correct. 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 shift.